I grew up in Chicago, and um, this neighborhood west of Western has always been thought of as very negative because of the dividing line of Western Avenue. Ooh, don't go past West of Western. It used to be not so many businesses, and at one point, there was a lot of gangs and drugs. But neighborhoods change, and they evolve. People start standing up. I never thought it was seedy. I thought it was just colorful. So we decided to turn it into a positive. West of Western stands for wow. We just had these upholstered in orange. What do you think about the color of the fabric? I like them a lot. It goes, yeah. with, the, uh, goes with the logo. Yeah, <laughs> dig it. <laughs> I think small businesses help their community grow. When you have a small business, and then here comes another small business, and another small business opens up, it's almost like a magnet effect. There's a connection. And human beings, we love to connect. All righty. So that's going to be... Uh... Working with my husband, and we have a vintage furniture business. He's continually pushing me toward a bigger and better vision. All righty. You too. Stop in again uh, when you guys get a chance. I met Lynn, and I knew there was something different about her. And I knew that I wanted to know her the moment she shook my hand. He wouldn't let my hand go. And he, we shook hands and laughed. I knew he was the one. We had talked about it. It'd be nice to open a store, but it was only talk. One day, Lance was like, you know that store we were talking about opening? So I came back with the lease, and I said, we're official. My job is to curate the store. So locating the furniture is a thrill. And the negotiation is always fun. This is quality. This is workmanship. Old world craftsmen made these pieces. Solid walnut, teak, Brazilian rosewood. I think the customers enjoy the experience of an independent business. It's such an intimate experience. I live like two doors over. Lynn and Ty are so nice. I just always come and talk to them. And then just great stuff in here. They know their product. It's truly the best place to find the, the really good stuff. And just since Lynn and Ty have been promoting the area, I think they've drawn a lot of new business and a lot of vibrancy. I just came over to let you know that the WOW meeting is going to be tonight at 6 oh, o'clock. Right. Yeah. I think a lot of the WOW business only, they look at Lynn as their leader. And she has brought other businesses to the area by connecting with people. I kind of noticed that this neighborhood was hustling and bustling, but there was really no connection. Small businesses, we've got to stick together. We've got to see each other. We've got to talk to each other. We've got to keep each other in the loop, and we've got to keep pushing forward. You know we have the WOW meeting tonight for the independent businesses in the district? Absolutely. So I'll your place, you. 6.30. Yeah. Yep, and I'll be home at 6.30. I'll be there with bells yeah. on. Bring your fresh ideas. Mm -hmm. We need things over here in WOW. We need banners. We need benches for people to come and take their time and roll around the neighborhood and shop. And that's what WOW does. We are a family not just with the business owners, but the community as well. We're having a meeting, a WOW meeting, and I just, wow, what are you working on back here? It's a revolution. Small business is a revolution. Sweep your sidewalk, clean your windows, take the bars down, be proud, let people see what you have. That's WOW, baby. I'm very proud of us all getting together and, and working against the negative odds and just going uh, forward and onward and upward. I, I really am proud, proud of our neighborhood. If we stick together, we're all gonna go to the top together. This is the biggest thing I've ever done before in my life.